fans, this is Tex Ritter, and welcome to another exciting episode of PLW Power League Wrestling. Well, fans, as you can see, our first match is a no-disqualification contest with Ruthless Ryan against the New England champion, Scott Z. Yes, fans, the New England title will be up for grabs in a no-disqualification match. Before we go to that match, let's hear comments from both participants. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the New England heavyweight champion, Scott Z. And I have a match tonight with uh, Ryan Emerald. No disqualification for my title. If he thinks that's going to help him in any way, he is out of his mind. Because when I'm backed into a corner, I fight even harder. And uh, I know Joe Franco was originally signed for this match, but he backed out. I tell you one reason why. And the only reason is me. And that's all there is to it. This is the ruthless one. Ryan Amaral, and you know, Scotty Z, I am really, really p don't want to raise my voice because, well, I'm just going to take all my anger out on your head in the ring, okay? Because it's a no DQ match for the New England title, and the ruthless one is going to shine once again. So, Scotty Z, bring all the little toys you want, drop by Hasbro, get whatever you want. Bring all your little toys, because it's not going to help you any. And you know, lately, I've, it's, you know, I'm not, try I'm not trying to be a, a, a bad guy here. You know, I don't want to start trouble, but you know, usually I've been getting introduced first, you know, like I'm, like I'm nothing too special, but you know, once in a while I like to be introduced last, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm not trying to be a bad guy, it's just one of the things I'd like to do, you know, show everybody I'm not a real cheesy wrestler, but well... Scotty Z, you just remember this. You're going down, and I'm taking your belt, and you're going to have nothing left to hold up your pants. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. contest is a special no disqualification challenge match for the New England heavyweight title. He weighs 200, pounds exactly, the challenger, here he comes, he is, ruthless, oh, yeah! And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent. contest we're going to have here, fans. No disqualification. Rules apply in this contest. No disqualification and no count out. All the referee has to do is count the pins. Anything is legal in this type of match. What an exciting match this should be. Scott Z against Ruthless Ryan. There's been a lot going down. They really haven't had a chance to resolve this feud, so it's going to be a good one. Scott Z just prepping himself. Getting ready. And it looks like we're going to ready. Yep, we're ready. And Scott Z goes right into Ruthless Ryan. He's got a, he's got a blackjack, I believe. Oh, you had him with it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, man. Well, man, try to get that thing going, man. Scott Z takes him and throws him down. Picks him up and whips him in. And big clothesline takes down Ruthless Ryan. Goes for the pin. He got him. One, two. Oh. That was pretty close. What's he going to do here? Back suplex. Takes him down. Nice move. Oh, the floozy shank. Oh, he throws him outside the ring. Oh, and a big somehow kick by Ruthless Ryan. Knocks Scott C back into the ring. Tracy Michaels trying. He's going after Tracy Michaels. Tracy Michaels going after him. Here comes Ruthless. And off with a double axe handle. 
Lucas Ryan Amaral. Looking like he has a change of attitude the past couple weeks. But maybe it's for the best. He said he's going to try everything to win this one. So he's going to pull out all the stops. So. Oh, and bang down. Now Scott, another one. Oh, God. Two shots with that. Oh, and Scott comes back with an elbow. And throws him into the wall. And kicks him. Scott C being pretty ruthless in this contest. Pardon the pun. Come on, Ryan. Come in, Ryan. Come in after you, Ryan. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, man. Look out, Ryan. He's going up. He's going up. The fans warning ruthless Ryan. Here comes Scott Z. And off with a uh, big elbow. Big elbow smash off the top rope. And a flying elbow down the ground. You might get him here. Two. Oh, just two. Nice kick out by Ryan. Go, Ryan. Suck it up. You need a rope, Ryan. Got a rope, Ryan. Get that rope. Get in there, buddy. Come on, Ryan. Grab that rope, Ryan. Go, go. The fans trying to tell Ryan that he's near the ropes. I don't know if he can hear him or not, though. Let's we'll see. Ryan comes down and blocks it. Nice move by Ryan to block it and turn it into a knee breaker. Backbreaker, excuse me. And now he's working on him with the boots. Oh, he's just kicking him. Stomping away at the New England heavyweight champion. There you go, Ryan. Straight up. Straight up. Yeah, Ryan. Oh, big suplex. I really don't understand why Ryan was saying why he had to be introduced first. It really doesn't make sense. That was knee drop. But this Ryan is a great competitor. I think all the fans know that. I don't think he really has to feel slighted when he's introduced first. Just the champion. He's usually in championship matches, title matches, number one contenders matches. And the man is usually a little bit ahead of him, that's all. And a drop kick. Plus also there's a rule. The champion must get announced last. Just for, uh, just to honor his, uh, Championship on, excitement. Uh oh, he's shoving. He's shoving Tracy. He's shoving Tracy Michaels. Shoving a woman, but she's been in his way. She's been in his face the whole match. So you gotta get. You gotta tell him that it might be justified. Scott's he running away from Lutus Ryan. Lutus Ryan just makes it back in. Oh right. Lutus Ryan looked like he was trying to cut off, trying to drop down for a crossover there, but Scott's had would say no, nothing to it. Now he's just working on him. He's choking him. He's got something. He's got a rope or something. Right, get his eyes, get his eyes. There was a rope thrown into the ring by one of the fans. Oh, he's hanging him now. Oh, he's hanging him. Oh, gosh, he's hanging him. He's hanging him like an old bull or something. Come on, Ryan. Scott C just showing it right in front of the ref. Referee can do nothing about that. Now he's whipping him with it. Oh. Throws it to Tracy Michaels like nothing ever happened. Oh, Scott C must be happy about this match. He can use all his foreign objects without worrying about getting caught. And a pile driver. One of Scott C's favorite moves. One of the moves he executes best. Two. Just two though. Just a two count on that one. Oh, a big kick. Another one. Scott C really gained the advantage. Oh, yeah. as I say that, here comes Ruthless Ryan. Big of a kick. Oh, he's raking away. Oh, haven't seen these tactics used by Ryan in any of his matches, but this is an ODQ match, so he's justified. Oh, now he's raking his face across it. Oh, Ryan is indeed ruthless in this contest. And that bind, big bulldog. Brutal Bob handing something to him. Brutal Bob out there to help his friend Ruthless Ryan. He handed him something. Oh, he handed him some kind of uh, bolt or some kind of uh, peg or something. Yeah, Ruthless here, chinging away. Ruthless Ryan threw it away. Hit him with a piece of metal. Ruthless Ryan slams him down. Yeah, that's your right end. That's it. That should be it. One, two. Oh! The referee was school hesitant in counting the three there. Fans are really giving him you know what for for it. Oh! Scott C. Just enough time to come back now. Throws him outside. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, get the Oh! Hit him, ref. Hit him. so mean. Tracy Michaels. Tracy Michaels. Down there, it's taunting Ryan. Taunting Ruthless Ryan. This is terrible. Ruthless Ryan coming after. What's he going to do? Oh, he hit Tracy Michaels with it. He hit Tracy Michaels with the briefcase. Oh, and he got caught. Oh, Tracy Michaels got whacked with that briefcase. 
Ruth was right and hitting a woman. I think he might have gone just a little bit too far on that one. I know Tracy Michaels hasn't been the best, but still, she's still a woman. She's still a female. You foozy! You deserved it! Oh, some fans are saying she deserved it. Tracy Michaels still on the ground there. Oh, they're starting to chant some derogatory remarks towards Tracy Michaels. But still, I really, I personally feel that Ruthless Ryan was not justified enough to go whacking away at her with the briefcase. I think if her man loses, I think that'll be enough to show her that the cheating ways are not there. Ruthless Ryan, all oh, brought down by Scott Z in a suplex position. Going for the pin now. Two. Oh, just barely. Here comes Scott Z up to the top. He's going up. Oh, he missed with the drop kick off the top. He missed with the drop kick off the top rope. Ruthless Ryan got out of the way of that one, and that was probably the best idea because he probably would have been pinned if he had been hit by that move. Ruthless Ryan. Oh, big knee lift. Yeah, yeah. Drop, and the neck breaker. Reverse neck breaker by Ruthless Ryan. Two. He'll get him. Oh. Gosh, two and a half. Oh, Ruthless right. Ryan and big gut wrencher. Yeah, that's it. Ruthless Ryan really starting to put the moves on Scott Z, trying to get ready to regain to gain that New England title. We could have a new New England champion this week. Oh now Ruthless Ryan is shoving Tracy Michaels. What's going on? What's Scott Z got? What's he got? Looks like he's got something. Ruth is right, having trouble coming off that top rope. Tracy Michaels looks like she's holding his leg. And he comes out with the elbow. Boy, he got away from Tracy Michaels there. Looks like he'll be going for the pin. Now he whips Scott C into the ropes. And the big close line spins Scott C all the way around 360. One. Two, a new chip. Oh, God. God, a chair's in the ring. Somebody threw a Tracy Michaels threw a chair in the ring, I believe. Got a deep in the but it's all legal here, fans. All legal in the no DQ match. No disqualification. Scott C saying he doesn't need the chair. And he comes out against Ruthless Ryan and takes him and works on him in the midsection and the body and the facial area. Grab that chair, Ryan. Ryan, you got chair, Ryan. Ryan, The fans are trying to warn him. The fans are trying to warn him. And down with the chair. Scott Z. He'll get him here. He'll get him with the chair. One, this is terrible. Your winner, Scott Z. Oh! Roots was right, kicked out of that one. You gotta be kidding me. Two and seven eights. Ruthless Ryan showing his character in this no disqualification match. He knows this is for all the gold. He knows this is for the New England heavyweight title, the second most prestigious title in the PLW. Remember, fans, next week we start the world title tournament, and both these men are involved. Oh, he turns it into a DDT! Ruthless Ryan reverses the suplex and turns it into a DDT! Ruthless Ryan going up to the top! To probably seal the fate of Scott C in the RM Enterprises. Oh, watch out for Tracy Michaels. She's come up. Ruth is right. Oh, she hit him. She hit him with a briefcase. She hit him. I don't think Ruth is right. Even saw her. I don't even think Ruth is right. Even saw Tracy Michaels. Here comes Brutal Bob. Brutal Bob's going to tell him. Brutal Bob's going to tell him. Unfortunately, the decision won't be reversed because that's a no disqualification match. But still, there's nothing ethical about that. That was a total unethical win. Brutal Bob trying to wrestle away the briefcase. He's wrestling away. He's got the briefcase. He's going to give Scott C what he deserves. He is. Now he's going to check on Ruthless Ryan. Brutal Bob going to check on his, one of his close personal friends, Ruthless Ryan. <coughs> Wait a minute. Ruthless Ryan. Ruthless Ryan thinks Brutal Bob hit him with the briefcase. Ruthless Ryan thinks Brutal Bob hit him with the briefcase. No, Ryan. No, Ryan. He didn't hit you. Tracy Michaels hit you with a briefcase. No. No, Ruthless Ryan can't be thinking this. No. Ruthless Ryan. Ruthless Ryan asking the referee. The referee was down, though. The referee didn't see it. Brutal Bob swearing to him that he didn't hit him. We all know he didn't hit him, fans. 
Ruthless Riot acting very strangely in this match. Ruthless Riot shoving away Brutal Bob. I can't believe it, fans. We gotta go. That's right, fans. Next week, we'll start the PLW World Heavyweight Title Tournament. Fans, this is going to compete. This is going to compete eight wrestlers, eight of the greatest in the PLW against one another to see who will come out as the new heavyweight champion of the world in the PLW. Ladies and gentlemen, I have all the wrestlers that are going to compete. The number one seed will be Scott Z. And then fans also competing in the tournament will be the fighter Joe O, Brutal Bob, Monaco Mark Ryden, Ruthless Ryan Amaral, The Shadow Warrior, The Eliminator, and fans, the European heavyweight champion Charlemagne. Fans, those are the eight wrestlers. Next week, fans, we're going to draw them out of a hat to ensure a random order. As these wrestlers compete, you'll see the exciting first round of the PLW World Title Tournament next week, fans. Now, let's go to that chain match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brutal Bob Evans. Getting ready for the big chain match tonight against you, Marco Mark Ryan. Mark, you have been dogging me as long as I can feel it. You've been coming on television saying you ended my career. Well, take a look at me. I'm right here, looking right to the camera, talking to you as we speak, just a few short minutes away from the big chain match. Buddy, I'm going to cut you up so bad, I'm going to tie you up like the dog that you are. Goodbye, Maniacal Mark. Goodbye, Shadow Warrior. And goodbye, Scott Z. This is Maniacal Mark, the chairman of Iron Man Enterprises. Brutal Bob, I got a chain match with you. You seem to forget who put you out of wrestling. You seem to forget who injured your back and sent you to the hospital. You say you're going to do all kinds of things to me. Well, you're not. I'm the one that puts you out of wrestling, and I'll do it again if I have to. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the television main event. It is the chain match. In order to win this match, the first wrestler to touch all four corners in succession will be the victor. Ladies and gentlemen, this chain match will have two special referees. Oh, it looks like the special referee is going to be the fighter Joe O and the Shadow Warrior. From Fall River, Massachusetts, he weighs 200. Challenge match. Fans, we'll be right back. We gotta wait for these guys to put their wristbands on. We'll be back right after this. Okay, fans, we are back. Brutal Bob versus Monaco Mark in the chain match. Oh, Monaco Mark starts off at a quick advantage. Looks like the Shadow Warrior will start inside the ring and the Fighter Joel will start outside the ring. Two special referees in this match. 
Oh, Monaco Mark taking the early advantage. And a cold slide on Poodle Bob. He took his head off with that one. He's going for the pin. But it doesn't matter because no pins count in this contest. But the Shadow Warrior will count it anyway. Monaco Mark obviously thinks it's going to be some kind of a moral victory on Brutal Bob if he gets a pin. Big holes line. And Shadow Warrior stepped all over him. Come on. What's going on with that? Shadow Warrior should not be interjecting himself into this contest. The Shadow Warrior now apologizing for it. About as, insincere, about as sincere as Richard Nixon. Oh, he dropped the fist on him. Oh, that could have broken his head wide open. And now the leg drop. Monaco Mark really, really gaining the early advantage on this one. Now Monaco Mark looks like he's uh, getting ready, taking his time. He's got one. He's got two posts. He's got three. And now, oh, Brutal Bob stopped him with a clothesline. Brutal Bob stopped him with that vicious clothesline. And now a big right hand by Brutal Bob knocks Monaco Mark down. You wrap that 15-foot-long steel chain around your fist and you hit a guy with it, he's going to feel it. Monaco Mark trying to escape, but Brutal Bob dragging him right back in. Monaco Mark obviously forgot that he had a chain attached to his wrist. Now Monaco Mark really resisting it. Brutal Bob trying to get him back in the ring. He finally got him back in. Oh, Brutal Bob drops him down. This has been a pretty vicious contest, fans. But we know what's going down between these two competitors. Oh, and now he's choking him. Now he's choking him. He's telling him to break it. Shadow War, you can't tell him to break it. This is a chain match. You can't break You don't have to break this. Oh, he hit him in the knee. He took out the knee with a chain. The Shadow Warrior obviously distracting Brutal Bob until Monaco Mark could come back. Now he's hitting him again. Yeah, fans, this is vicious. Now what's he going to do? He's wrapping it around the leg. Oh, he's stretching him. Oh, he's stretching him out. He's stretching him out. There's no submission, though. He could give up 20 times. There would be no submission. Shadow Warrior said he gave up. That's a lie. I heard it. He didn't give up anything. What are you, stupid? Stupid. Oh, the fighter Joel really trying to figure out what the heck Shadow Warrior is trying to do. I wish I knew. Oh, I'm Brutal Bob. Coming back. Coming back. Oh, but now I'm going to come back. Hit him on the back. No, the fighter Joe will finally decides to take over in this contest. <laughs> Big slam by Brutal Bob. Big slam by Monaco Mark. On Brutal Bob. Monaco Mark really getting a, really dominating this contest so far. There you go, Mark. There you go. Drop it on him, big man. Drop it on him. Oh, he dropped the elbow on him. <laughs> With the chain wrapped around it. He's got one. Oh, but Brutal Bob, he tripped over him. Brutal Bob trying to make it to his feet. Brutal Bob attempted to make it to his feet. He's up on his feet. What's he going to do? Cool slide by Brutal Bob. Oh, now Shadow Warrior's grabbing his leg. He extended the leg. He might have hyperextended the knee there. He tripped up Brutal Bob. Man, come on. Go on. He's got one corner. You guys want to do what you want me to do. Maybe you should try to walk on his own two feet. I like all these What happened here? Oh, they got wrapped up in it. That's what happens once in a while. They get wrapped up in the chain. Oh, Brutal Bob knocked outside the ring. Brutal Bob knocked outside. Man, come on. Looks like he might be able to get it. <coughs> oh, Jay. Shadow Warrior. He's beating him up. He's beating him up. Oh, he's he's busting him. I think he's grazing his head now. He's trying to beat him up. Brutal Bob out there for a long time. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like Brutal Bob is busted wide open. Brutal Bob busted wide open. Oh, into the... Oh, he is. He's right in front of us fans. 
Bruno Bob has been busted right open. Look, it's all, oh, God, Monica Mark. Breaking the chain, breaking it into his face. Come on, man. This is bad, fans. This is bad. On a big right hand by that Shadow Warrior. Oh. Three. Three. Oh, Brutal Bob just managed, just managed to get Monaco Mark away from that corner. Barely, fans. Barely. Oh, and a double thrust by Brutal Bob. Brutal Bob looks like he's got a second win. He looks like he's finally going to get going in this one. Oh, but maybe not. Monaco Mark still has a lot of fight left in him, as does Brutal Bob. What an exciting contest this has been, fans. The chain match. Oh, Brutal Bob held on to Monaco Mark. Could not hit it that corner. Oh, big forearm. Oh, they double clothesline each other. Oh, they clotheslined each other. Fighter Joe O. They're getting into an argument. Fighter Joe O and Shadow Warrior have gotten into an argument. The two referees cannot seem to agree on much today. There's one. Oh, Monaco Mark, stop there, though. What's he going to do? Here it comes. Seminole slam. Oh, no. He's done. Brutal Bob is out. Shadow Warrior is trying to count the pin, but that doesn't matter. It's not a pin in this match. There's no chain. There's no pins in a chain match. He got one. He got two. He got three. And no brutal Bob manages to stop him. Wow. That was the closest we'd come, fans. Two. A defeat at the hands of Monaco Mark to Brutal Bob. Went right through your back. Here comes Monaco Mark. Oh knocks stop Brutal Bob again. Oh and he hit Joy to Joe O! Monaco Mark hit fighter Joe O. Joe O is out. Joe O outside the ring. Is he out? I can't tell. He looks like he's out. Oh, Shadow Warrior. Monaco Mark, he's done. Did the strap. And he's touched all four corners. Come on. I hope somebody saw this. Monaco Mark's the winner. No, wait a minute. Who's the winner in this one? Monaco Mark has won this, I think. But he undid the strap off his chain. He doesn't have a chain on right now. And he knocks the blue bomb, knocks their heads together. Cool side by the fighter Joe O. Brutal Bob has one corner. He has two corners. Come on, two more. The fans are trying to cheer him on. He's got three. Bruno! And he might he might get the fourth. He might he's got the fourth! Brutal Bob has won the chain match! Brutal Bob has won this chain match! Brutal Bob, victorious in the chain match.